And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some discard burn. It's been a little bit since we played this deck. That's kind of what we're doing today, kind of going back and playing uh, some decks that we haven't in a little while. Uh, so far, Control didn't do as good. Ramp Midrange did just fine. And we're going to see how we do with our aggro deck. This is called Discard Burn because we're focused on uh, um, the discard um, aspects of um, of some of these cards. We have cards like Get Excited to play it. You discard one. We have Draven that gives you spinning axes. To play the spinning axes, you, you have to discard one. Sump Treasure, when you play it, you discard one. The reason why we have those cards... Um, is because they're they're pretty powerful like they're very powerful cards but you, know, you don't really want to discard cards from your hand so therefore we have to have some cards that you don't mind discarding we got flame chompers when you discard it summon it same with jury rig and uh same with vision whenever you discard it you can give all of your allies plus one plus zero um <clears throat> the other thing about discarding is you know you usually empty your hand pretty quickly and so we have two two things that don't mind having an empty hand. If we can have augmented experimenter as our you know last card for six mana, because it says you play it, you discard your hand, and then you get to draw three. So you know we can just play it, and it just is a draw three if we have an empty hand. Plus deal three to an enemy unit, and then of course Jinx. Jinx levels up when your hand is empty, and whenever she levels up, you get to draw extra cards and create some super mega death rockets. Jinx is. Probably the most powerful card in our deck. All right, so it's a cool, it's a cool little aggro um, deck, but a different kind of take on aggro. How we get to really focus on the discard aspects. It's kind of cool. All right, so discard aggro. Where are you at? Or discard burn? Let's go. All right, we're up in the seven hundreds. Let's pick up some wins. Oh, there's one other thing wrong about our deck list. Let's see if I can figure it out. Because we're supposed to have three sump dredgers. And there's only two in there. Or at the end of the last time that we played this, we added that third sump dredger. What did we take out? I'm not sure. All right, anyway, there's a Draven, there's a Jinx. <clears throat> they want to get rid of this Experimenter. I'm going to keep the going to keep the champions. Yeah, I mean, once... Yeah, Jinx is awesome. Yeah, that, that is true. Jinx is awesome with a leveled up. Let's get plus three, plus zero, plus two. Or, like, leveled up Jinx. Yeah, Rummage is awesome with a leveled up Jinx. But, honestly, once we level up Jinx, it's not it's not difficult to get rid of our hand every single turn. It's really not very difficult at all. A delicious challenge. Better run. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Time for the main event. All right, Draven. Let's see. So they're just gonna try to sit back and barrier a bunch. What are you waiting for? I don't know. I 
Oh, is that only grant me plus two plus zero until end of turn? Like, shouldn't this be a three, a three, two? I don't want to use the, the spinning axe. Like, maybe I should be doing that, discarding the boom crew rookie. <clears throat> Alright, I'm glad we're not. I think that's a pretty good trade for us. I mean, I think we're doing just fine. So I could empty my hand this turn. I probably want to do that. Empty the hand. <laughs> Yeah, Boom Crew Rookie is awesome. This card's very good. So we're going to Brothers Bond on these two. Flavor, it's spice. Oh, I shouldn't pass. Okay, yeah, they're yeah, okay, they're gonna attack. Can kind of sit back with <clears throat> with Jinx and start super mega death rocketing them. Basically, that block lets them, you know, keep the Lancer alive to be able to kill the Jinx. But yeah, I still have this Boom Crew rookie alive. These woods protect their own. It's Draven time. I've got your back. Pretty sure they're just dead now. They didn't just attack right away. They let me get another super mega death rocket. So unless they have deny. Okay, they do have deny. Yeah. 
Yeah, Annie, do you have a... Do you have a list for that? Because, yeah, I'd, I'd like to check that out. I mean, I, I do like... I think Noxus has a lot of very strong cards. Mm. Okay. Thanks, Annie. Thank you. All right, we're out of the 700s. Back to the 600s. I started today at rank 50. <laughs> that 05 really hurt our rank. All right, let's see. Karma, Hecarim, Zed. I don't know. Maybe I should be keeping those. You know, like those can kill Zed, kill Karma. But I wanted to try to be more aggressive. We didn't really do the whole be more aggressive thing, though. Not the best time to have Captain Farron. I'll admit. Alright, there's the list. Thanks. Thanks, Annie. I'm going to go add that. I'll go put that. Import. Paste. Go put that up on Mobile Addicts so I don't lose it. Sorry, Captain Farron. Oh, I don't have the attack token? That's lame. Speaking of lame, it's that combo. Darius Elise Agro. Cool. Oh wait, Elise isn't my path. Elise is in Noxus. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings. Her people. Yeah, the War Mother Ramp deck. Um, it's in here. Ekner. It, that's there's all my decks. Um I'll just a second. It's so you can find it there. Or I'm just clicking over to get the YouTube video. There you go. There's there's the video of it on YouTube with the deck list um, and code and all that kind of stuff underneath as well. Less thinking, more pew pewing. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost.
this whirling death. Just not doing anything. The shadows have enlightened me. Someday you'll isn't a, you isn't an ideal hand that we have. Oh, I thought the Mystic Shot would have still killed that thing. You're starting to bore me. All right, got Karma out of here. That's that's pretty big. All right, flipped Jinx. Attack. <sighs> go at Hecarim or do I go at them? Let's go upstairs. Down to nine. Down to 10, or up to 10. So if I, I don't know exactly how this is gonna work, honestly. I hope that like I play Draven, my hand's empty, and then I create the Super Mega Death Rocket. I hope it doesn't say that I have a spinning axe in hand, so it doesn't. Yeah, empty hand, good. It's Draven time. Good. We're hopefully going to kill them this next turn. That's alright, as long as they don't have life gain. Basically, as long as they don't have life gain, they're dead. So that's all we got to make sure is they don't have life gain. Or deny. No life gain, no deny. It's very possible they have both of those things. Shadow Owls has a good amount of life gain. Ionia has deny. Oh no. I can't empty my hand. Hmm. I can't empty my hand. I mean, 
I have to discard I discard something to play one, but then I, I have a third card in hand. I can't get rid of the third card no matter how I do it. Less thinking, more pew pewing. Pews? So I can't yeah, I can't super mega death rocket. Better run. We burn. Then kindle a new. Yeah, this is this is like the only the only chance for this to happen, yeah, in the whole deck was this. Was draw two, get excited. Or a get excited and a sump dredger, you know, like two two of those like Yeah, I mean, if they have Deny or Instant Speed Life... I mean, that's the thing, is we still have this one unless they have Deny or Instant Speed Life Gain. They follow the wrong master. We go. I feel like we got really unlucky to lose that. Yeah. I feel like we got real unlucky to lose that. To not be able to empty our hands. A wheel. Go. That's good. Boom Crew Rookie's good. So, you know, we're playing the Karma Lux control deck. We're probably going to lose to it since we just went 0 5 with it. We're probably going to lose to it. Okay, that's interesting playing Mage Seeker Conservator in the deck. I could definitely see that. That card's good. I could definitely see that. Unfortunately, Draven has to strike twice with spinning axes to level up. It's hard to level up Draven. Usually I want to play Jinx later. People. You should try blinking sometime. I will play my part. But here I think I'm okay just throwing out the Jinx. Getting the quick attack. Attacker. There are mana short of judgment. I don't have to play around that at all.
waiting for. Alright, down to five. Will be served. Ouch. Ouch. That's not cool. That's not cool. So now it doesn't look so great. I didn't have Radiant Guardian in my deck. And looks like I should have had Radiant Guardian in my deck. Radiant Guardian is incredible. Don't have another Radiant Guardian, please. No, 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 no. Tough creature. All right, that'll do. It's not Radiant Guardian, at least. Like buildings or people. You should try blinking sometime. Oh, right. We don't get the Super Mega Death Rocket this turn. I was thinking, like, play this and then play Super Mega Death Rocket to kill that thing. So that was, that was a very bad... Yeah, that was kind of unnecessary by me. Um Axis coming right up. Find enlightenment. I will learn from you. Well their deck, you know, has a couple of different things. It's better against aggro than what I got. Yeah, that was that was just a terrible. I mean, I, I didn't play that well, but. Confine and contain. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Into battle with hearts aglow. That was that was a terrible get excited by me. Watch and learn. I'll protect you. So basically, yes, I know I can shoot that and kill that and everything. The problem is they're just gonna have like that six six life linker. The game's over. Uh need to play better. Is there an update it looks like? Did y'all get an update? Huh, yeah, I got some kind of update there. Yeah, like there are like the different servers. Maybe it was like just a North American update server or something. Big 
mission. The Yordle here is with me. Alright, play in verse elusives. Shadow Assassin is so good. That hurt. The party has arrived. Uh, it's Raven time. Looking good, kid. Be a lot of damage. I hope this works. I'll take it. We took. I took two. You know they they spent two tricks to get rid of a boom crew rookie. If I strike one more time, Draven will level up. Draven gets overwhelmed then. Strike one more time with a spinning axe, that is. Basically, just don't take the damage and get rid of a blocker. We're just going to be attacking, hoping for lethal. Good draw. That means now all of our cre creatures attacking are le lethal. Sweet. Two and two. It's kind of dark in here. It's kind of, kind of dark. Probably turn on light. All right, out of the 700s again. So this is probably too cute keeping the rummage. I'm basically going to be out of cards now. Probably should have just mulliganed everything. All 
All right, got five damage in though. It's not bad. The order rewards its fate. The party has a rat. They cannot hide. How much damage we got here? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So if I play Draven, they get to play a blocker. If I don't, they don't. And I could just have 13 damage, put them down to 2. Play the Draven. Axes coming right up. This is awesome. He likes the thirteen damage play. Come on. Yeah, it looks like the 13 damage line was the way to go. Could have had them down to two. Sounds like a perfect hand with Skitter taking off a bunch of damage. It's not really that my whole deck is burned. Like, we already have drew some of our burn spells. Everything's better with company. Says you. But they, they have a lot of life gain. Like, you know, I'm expecting this, this deck usually plays the 3 mana 5-5 five, five lifelinker. They'll never see us coming. And so, like, that card could have been a problem. And like how they're playing Death Mark, like they're definitely playing that card. Three mana, five, five. Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. We, we lost our games, Rex. That's what, that's what happened. Darn. They made good blocks. I was hoping they didn't make good blocks. Oh, 
Yeah, if we would have put them down too, we haven't we never we hadn't actually drawn a burn spell. But obviously I'm just out of gas. I mean, it was the game was like that turn that they had with Skitter plus Mark of the Isles plus Death Mark. That was an insanely good turn. That's that game or like that turn was was the game. Yeah, we're not. We're kind of drawing all the trash in our deck. It's all been drawn for a long time. Even if I would have put my opponent down to two with that that other that turn that we talked about, I, I didn't have. I would have never drawn anything to finish them off. That would have been going all in to put him down to two. So that would have been a winning line. I like this Ash deck that my opponent's playing. Alright, so we're going to curve out pretty well. With Draven's biggest fan. Puts Draven on top of the deck. So we'll have like that into Boom Crew Rookie, into Draven, into Jinx. We'll probably have to cast. I was going to say we'd probably have to cast Mystic Shot, like if they have like Legion Drummer, um, you know, like Challenger stuff. Brittle Steel is the card that I'm scared of the most. I'll protect the villages. Look out for reavers. Do I want to get rid of Whirling Death? I feel like Whirling Death is is probably pretty bad against against the deck filled with burst speed frostbite <laughs> same here melva or melvra So we got halfway to leveling up Draven now. United, nothing can stop us. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people. You should try blinking sometime. So I'm going to be spinning axing to discard the whirling death. Who goes there? Most likely. I guess I could whirling death like here. Intruders, stay back. Less thinking, more 
for pew pewing. Who goes there? So definitely worried about frostbite stuff. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to do one damage here. Give this plus two, plus two. Wait. Yeah. Was thinking more pew pewing. And then... Mystic shot their thing. And yeah, we'll get rid of the Whirling Death. So the reason why I did that is because I want Jinx to have five toughness, so they can't brittle... Like, one mana, like, what they got is Brittle Steel. So now they can't Brittle Steel be because it's five toughness. And I thought I was all ready. Straight in. Draven, Draven. Ugh, that was a bad card to draw right here. Because obviously I want to play the Experimenter and, and empty the hands, but this is a great card to have. So not a good one to have specifically right now. Yeah, that was... Probably our worst draw, honestly. Because that's like one of the best, that's probably our best card to draw into from here. Because it also helps Jinx empty the hand. So that's our worst card to have to draw that, that turn. Eyes blazing by his torches. Alright, opponent surrendered, so it's all good. Alright, back out of the 700s. Three and three. So how is my my deck list? I know my deck list command is one card off, off, but I don't know what card is off. I don't know what the extra card is that I have in here. Let's just get rid of this whirling death. Right? I don't know, am I, am I gonna want Whirling Death against Fiora? Time for the main event. Yep, yeah, I guess their hand was a whole bunch of nothing. I, can do this. I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I'm supposed to keep that Whirling Death. I like that Le just Legion drummer. That could be a that's a good splash in the Demacia mid range. Give support ally quick attack. I like that.
Darn it. It's very risky to play the Draven basically because of this. Doesn't look good now. I went for the risk, went for the high upside, getting, you know, curving out like you know, playing the Draven, Victory untapping with it. Sharp blade. Don't mind me. Run. They absolutely have a barrier to protect Fiora. Strike quickly, strike run. You are mine. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. So we're gonna try to get two damage on the Fiora because strike without worry. Um, darn, because it needs two damage to be able to die to a Mystic Shot. So there's a barrier that we knew that they, they had. I have no Eastwood. Just you and me, Fishbone. And them. Hmm. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Uh. Wow. Well. Now they have that backed up by barrier. You know, I, I want them to start. You know, just have. I want them just to have a barrier because they just have a barrier. We get to kill it. But if they have that backed up with a barrier, You'll ouch. So this game, this game's over now. Now they just kill the jury rig. I should have kept my whirling death. If I, you know, if I also had a whirling death, maybe we could have done something. I'll do it myself. I'll show you. How it's done. Oh God! All right, don't mulligan whirling death against Fiora. Lesson learned. But they, they had, like, the worst-case scenario every single turn, you know, ever since turn three, whenever they passed, and then I played the Draven. They had worst-case scenario. Every turn after that. So. 
basically a good hand, GG. So I'm not going to play Draven pre-combat and let them play their creature that, that now has a barrier. So we're attacking in for five. I didn't play Demacia Midrange today, no. Uh, decks I played today are up here in the top left-hand corner. Um, but no, yeah, Demacia Midrange is, is my favorite deck, but didn't play it today. Hopefully we have enough to stop this Fiora from killing things. And strike. All right, we're going to Spinning Axe the Draven. And then we're going to have the Draven strike Fiora. So the Draven can level up will be the second strike for it. We had to waste a ton of cards and we're just going to trade. That's bad news. Wasted a ton of cards. I think I got this, right? Oh, no, they're going to have two blockers. Oh, never mind. They, they have an extra blocker. Never mind. Never mind. Good job, Melvra hit silver one. Rules are made to be broken. That's awesome. Good job. Her people.
Three and five. I walk the space between worlds. I guess I probably should just cast the vision just to to flip. They would fall by my blade. Just to flip. Um. Whatever her name is, Jinx. Maybe not. Because if we draw Jinx... Yeah, so we need to draw Jinx. Darn. Because if we draw Jinx, we'll be able to play Jinx, play this. Jinx transforms. So close, one one point of damage. So close. Just had to have judgment. I think I've probably been underutilizing Whirling Death. Punch factory. I can do this. Don't mind me. Take care. Have a good night. It wasn't me. Time to go. So we got a similar match up here. Seven damage right now. What are you waiting for? Time to go. Could have gone for more for getting more damage in still. But I wanna you? yeah, kinda wanna protect against like Black Spear.
one mark of the isles got an axe with your name on it hey pup what do you think I should do here pup is leveling up Leveling up Draven's probably not that important. Yep. <clears throat> I was expecting that. Gonna be able to give Draven this. Let's pump here. Come up here. Come on. There you go. Puppy Cam. Puppy Cam with Harvey down here too. Come here, Harvey. Ooh. That's pretty good. That thing can't block. Of course I'm ready. That doesn't really help. Those can block. All right, so they're down to five. Better run. Down to five, pet. There's nothing to fear. Except fear itself. All right, just going to take out the Elise because. We're gonna have lethal coming back. All right, four and five. Out of the 700s, not quite. All right, one more match. Let's try to end on a victory. End on a victory and finish 500. That wouldn't be too bad. Oh. Basically the same same deck we just played against. All right, no one drop, but a good curve. Two, three, four. We can have skinning axe, spinning axe, the discard vision. Just the absolute perfect hand you can have on turn two with that deck. Turn two attack with the seven power. The party has absolute perfect. 
first one's free. Into that to block. Wow. Got axes, need victims. Halfway to leveling up. That's always been there. That's an easy block. Four four is a problem though. Oh. This is the best hand I've ever seen this deck put together. That's it right there. Hey BGM. That's the best hand I've ever seen their deck out. So I guess that, that deck could can win a game. Anyway, there we go. There's our discard burn. Um... So ended, ended four and six. So ended, you know, with the losing record there. Um, the Captain Farron did look too expensive. I know we've had some success with Captain Farron before against slower decks, but you kind of saw like everything that we're playing. We like slower decks are are not super prevalent right now. Um, I'm still like never really impressed with this flame chompers. It is something to discard, but it never it never like trades with a card. And so it's always like at least the jury rig is like a I don't know, at least it's a one one and it does one damage at least. I think that this deck could probably use could probably just use it like a couple more one like good one drops maybe. You know, like uh, like some Legion rear guards, Legion saboteurs, um, you know, something like this probably. Even though it's less cards to actually discard, um, maybe maybe that's like the thing to do is just get rid of flame chompers and get rid of. Maybe that means you get rid of sump dredger also. And like, if we get rid of flame chompers, sump dredger, and Captain Farron, and just get like some other like good one drops, maybe. Like ones and twos. Um, I could I could see going with like some house spiders in here to go along with like the visions. So basically, you, you just kind of trim on some of the you have to discard. You know, we you'd still have, you know, like your get excited and your spinning axes. But maybe trim a little bit of that and rummage. I don't know. Rummage didn't look very good ever, except for like at that one time when we had a ton of spinning axes. But honestly, don't really like rummage either. They need to go a little bit more aggro, a little less discard, is basically what I'm putting down. Which I think you can do that. Draven and Jinx are really good. I think we can do that. Anyway, all right, so there we go. So that is uh, that is discard burn. Uh, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and you know, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of kind of moving away from a little bit of the discard, not all of it, but just some of the discard and go in with some more aggressive creatures to get those get that damage in early all right but that's it here for discard burn so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video